Coming up, earthquake estimated at magnitude 4.0 hits Accra. TUC gives government one week ultimatum to exempt pensions from debt restructuring and questions the point of free SHS if graduates cannot secure jobs. And in the car price daylight robbery incident, two suspects have been shot dead by the police with one other person arrested. NDC condemns violence and says it will not shield any person who fomented trouble at the Youth and Women's Congress that elected new leaders at the weekend. And this is how the weekend's live concerts at the Accra Stadium went, even though the main artist for the night, Whisket, did not show up. He has, however, promised to organize his own show in Accra soon. But dance hall artist Shatawale has a message after the show. Welcome to Graphic Online's News in Brief. We start from Ghana's capital, Accra where a moderate earth tremor of an estimated magnitude of 4.0 was experienced this morning. The tremor was felt in most parts of Accra. The epicenter was located in the western part of Accra, 10 kilometers from Bawi, according to the Android Earthquake Alert System. The main tremor took place at 11.53 a.m. local time. Monday's event was experienced three times in a space of about five hours. The first one was experienced around 6.53 a.m., the second around 10 a.m. and the third at 11.53 a.m., 10 kilometers from Bawi. According to the Android Earthquake Alert System, the seismic movement reached magnitude 4.0, which makes it one of the strongest earthquakes in Ghana. When Graphic Online contacted the Ghana Geological Survey Authority for official information on the tremor, it was explained that a team of experts have been dispatched to the epicenter to collect information. The director of the GGSA, Isaac Nembele, told Graphic Online's Timothy Nembe that the team of experts have been deployed to wager to the earthquake monitoring station to collect data on the latest tremor. Wager has experienced perennial earth tremors. The last time a similar tremor was felt in Accra was on June 24, 2020. Ghana first recorded an earthquake in 1862, which measured 6.5 and was also felt in Togo and Benin. It again happened in 1906 in Ho, which recorded widespread damage, with Accra recording its first of 6.6 .6 in June 1939. Thereafter, there have been quakes in 1997 in Accra, 2003, 2006, 2007 in Takradi, 2018 Weja, Bawi, and tremors in 2019 and 2020 in Accra. I'm urging the public to remain calm. These are natural occurrences that do come. We are currently working on the magnitude and the locations of the epicenters so that we can tell what was the magnitude of the tremor and which areas were the epicenters. For now, we are gathering information from our monitoring equipment, which we will analyze, and that will give us that information, and we'll share that with the public. And, uh, but for public education, we are urging that wherever you are, when such events occur, you should either, before, you should either go under your table or your chair, but after that, it is advisable you go to an open place so that should there be any structural failures, you are not affected by those things. From Earth Remo, we move to the Trades Union Congress where the government has been given a one-week ultimatum to exempt pensions from the debt restructuring program, else it will advise itself. At a press conference in Accra today, Dr. Yao Ba, the General Secretary of the TUC, said the debt restructuring program in its current form will impoverish workers. The TUC has also kicked against the government's decision to freeze public sector employment and questioned what is the point of free SHS if graduates cannot secure jobs. Already too many workers are losing their jobs in the private sector. And for some, because salaries are low, they use all their salaries to transport themselves into the workplace. So many people have decided that they will not work again. So employment freeze in the public sector will be adding pain to the needs. Already too many of our friends in the private sector are, are losing their jobs. So to close the public sector to new entrants, we deem it a start in the back of young Ghanaians who have been educated at a very great cost 
not only to their families, but also to the, to the nation. What is the point of free S uh, SHS if graduates cannot secure jobs? What is the point? Why do we use our money to fund people through education and then you block the public service from entry? And to some updates coming in from the police on crime in Accra. Last Friday, a gang of armed robbers in a daylight operation shot and robbed a female victim at car price in Accra. The police have announced that it has made some breakthrough with their investigations and has shot dead two suspects with one other person arrested. The suspects made away with the victim's bag which contained cash after shooting to deflate the tires of the Toyota Land Cruiser vehicle she was driving. The victim herself was injured but currently responding to treatment. The police in a statement said a sustained police intelligence operation took the fight to the robbery gang at the hideout. The police in a statement said the robbers engaged them in a shootout and in the process, two of the suspects were shot dead and one was arrested. One police officer sustained gunshot injury to his thigh and is receiving medical attention. In education, the Technical University Teachers Association of Ghana has called off its strike action. The leadership of the association have therefore called on all members to comply with the directive to suspend the strike. The president of TUTAC, Professor Colin Zameyao, said it expects the government to address the concerns of members. The government has shown some commitment. Yes, uh, we uh, embark on the strike action demanding three major issues. The first one has to do with our uh, IGF related condition of service. Now, the negotiation had been done, everything was ready. We were just waiting for uh, the Ministry uh, for Finance um, to actually give the approval to have, to give effect to uh, the condition of service. But there was something dragging, uh, probably because we uh, there was some disagreement with the effective date. So the negotiation and then the NLC's ruling actually clarified the issues. And then government uh, you know, saw the reason to approve the IGF related condition of service for us. And in business, the Guyana Union of Traders Association has appealed to members to adjust the prices of their goods and services downwards following the appreciation of the city against the US dollar. According to Guta, it has observed a stability in the city against the dollar in the last few days. Maybe the time that we made those purchases, the, the, the city uh, was, 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 the, the city was uh, a little bit you know, uh, higher compared to uh, as against uh, the dollar. So now that the city seems to appreciate a bit, uh, we should try as much as possible to strike uh, a balance, not that you sell in a way that you, you, you will lose, but at least you, you don't try to, you know, you don't expect to make so much, you know, profit, but you should try and reduce their prices so that whatever, whatever uh, losses that, you know, you, 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 you might have incurred during the time that the, the, the city sells, you know, drastically, at least you could be able to also, you know, gain something, you know, to uh, complement that. And in politics, the opposition National Democratic Congress has condemned violence and says it will not shield any person who fomented trouble at the Youth and Women's Congress that elected new leaders at the weekend in Cape Coast. The police has declared 16 people wanted for the violent disturbances at the NDC Congress. According to the police, while proceedings were ongoing at the Congress, two rival groups violently clashed, throwing stones, blocks, sticks clubs, chairs, among others, causing injury to three persons and destruction to property. And before we go, 
We bring you how the weekend's live concert at the Craspore Stadium went, even though the main artist of the night, Whisket, did not show up. He has, however, promised to organize his own show in Accra soon. Jackie, Efia, Darko Vice, Kelvin Boy, Yaltog, and the Asaka Boys took turns to sell fans. The Accra Sports Stadium was charged with music from DJ Tunes, who was on the ten tables, an act that prepared the fans and patrons on what to expect for the night. The audience jumped to Yaltog's story and Aswadin's songs as he dished them. It was a different scene when last mid performed Friday night, which was evident in how the crowd sang the song word for word. The Asaka boys did not also disappoint. They performed songs such as Drip and Condemn. The rainy songbird, on the other hand, Jackie, treated fans to Shege, Something and Forever. Her performance was characterized by dancers from the DWP Academy. Additionally, Dako Vice was great on the night. He performed in a song, Je M'appelle, Pokeke and Stay Woke. Everyone went down flat when Kelvin Boy was introduced. The crowd couldn't have enough of him as they screamed, sang along and danced to his tunes such as Momo and Billionaire. One of Ghana's finest voices, Ifia once again showed why she is the best in the game. Her vocals, energy, crowd interactions was amazing. She performed songs such as Best In Me, One Of Your Own, Little Things and Until The Dawn. But for the disappointment by Whiskey, who was the headliner but did not turn up, the concert was a purpose of entertainment. And after the concert, dance hall artist Shatawale posted a message on social media. Put a stage in the middle of the stadium and knock the show. So see here, yeah, the crowd all will fool and things. But as a good somebody with my high day ground, where you are the steady things, I tell say, hey, what you put the gun do, Charlie? Unless if we Ghana here, nobody do that show for stadium unless rally. If no be MPP, they do rally for the or NDC, or maybe Pastor Mesa Ota Bill, or Pastor Chris. I tell you, people, so you make people write this down. Or Duncan Williams, or Bishop Aguinasari. We've never had a show like that at the stadium. Okay, or as a big protocol has a play match. You know why a show like at the stadium, you know, I see the whole place fill up for one artist before. I know some of them, the whole stadium, the uh, circle fill up. Every time we fill up, ah, one side, ah, one side, ah, one side, ah, one side. Thank you for watching. For more news, please visit our website graphic.com.gh or follow us on Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube and Twitter at GraphicGH. I am Enoch Dafa Frimpong. Subscribe now.